What would you like people to think about you when you've gone? I'd like for them to say he took a few cups of love. He took one tablespoon of patience, one tablespoon, teaspoon of generosity, one pint of kindness. He took one quart of laughter, one pinch of concern, and then he mixed willingness with happiness. He added lots of faith, and he stirred it up well. Then he spread it over a span of a lifetime, and he served it to each and every deserving person he met. Muhammad Ali, thank you very much. Well, been very lucky that my disability has not been a serious handicap. Indeed, it has probably given me more time than most people to pursue the quest for knowledge. You don't have to be handicapped to be different. Everybody is different. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here today with you all. And uh, as some of you may know, about five months ago, I had a liver transplant. So I now have the liver of a mid-20s person who died in a car crash and was generous enough to donate their organs. And I wouldn't be here without such generosity. So. I hope all of us can be as generous and elect to become organ donors. See, it's very hard to smile sometimes in life. There are things that happen that you don't know and you don't understand and you don't know if you're going to get through it. You know, you go through your storms in life and you don't know how long this storm is going to be. And today I want to share with you some principles that I've learned in my life that you can use in yours. Being patient is beautiful. I, I tell you, it's the hardest thing. But I realize I may not have hands to hold my wife's hand. But when the time comes, I'll be able to hold her heart. I don't need hands to hold her heart.